In a rapidly changing world, technologies are transforming migration and border governance. When used in line with international human rights law, digital technologies can facilitate the speed and scope of migration procedures. They can enable migrants to remain connected to their families and communities, to make complaints and bear witness to abuse. Yet without robust safeguards, technology can hurt human rights and aggravate power differentials inherent to migration processes. Biometric data collection, processing, and sharing is now common in many migration and border processes, often stored in large, interoperable, and insecure databases. Visa applications are often automated. Algorithms flag individuals as possible threats based on unclear criteria and with little transparency. Emotion detection systems that claim with little scientific evidence that they can detect thoughts, feelings, and intent are being increasingly used to justify migration decisions. Drones and automated recognition tools are used to surveil extended border areas, deterring arrivals and enabling pushbacks. As a result, people on the move are being put at risk of discrimination and harm with little accountability and means of redress. For better or for worse, digital technologies are part of our collective future. We need to both seize the opportunities and address the gaps in human rights protection. The design, development, and implementation of digital border technologies do not arise in a legal void. They must respect human rights. Incorporating human rights safeguards into migration and border governance is essential to prevent and mitigate harm by these technologies. Migration is first and foremost about human beings. Let's work together to ensure that digital technologies are only used in ways that uphold the human rights of all people on the move.